Yeah, so I said new technology. <laughs> we're not sure what just happened, but it just went blank. It just on our went side. completely blank. So we're just going to say that was the short version. <laughs> Although we didn't tell you anything about what happened where we are like right now. Oh my God, you guys. It just went completely blank. I don't know what happened. So turn it before you lose it again. It won't lose again. I don't know if the internet cut off. Anyway, this this one was, was this at the hospital? No, no this was, was when, <laughs> this is when he was getting his stitches taken out. Wait, hold on. Yeah, can you see? This is when he was getting his stitches taken out from his lip. This was uh, a week later. Hold on, I'm going to find it. Oh God, that's a, that was a few days into it. You guys, look at that. Is that insane? Yeah, if somebody tries to stitch up your mouth or your lip, do anything you can to avoid the Novocaine. That Novocaine shit was just fucking This brutal. was when we got to the emergency room. Is dinner almost ready? Dinner's ready, save yourself. <laughs> so- and there's Jakey. What? Um, yeah, so um, shit show. That was a shit show. It was. Got six stitches right there. Yep. And stop your tripping dog, please. Um, and, um, anyway, <laughs> Jake worked four hours today, so he's exhausted. <laughs> Babysitting kids. No, he didn't yeah. have kids today. Oh, he didn't have any kids. He was at the... Were you making calls, Jake? Yeah. Anyway, so that happened, and, um... We're like shit, and that well, took. That, huh? You did. We talked about you already. You were amazing. Um, and you did get recognition. You did. Thank God for you. And then, um, and then we were. No, there's no meat in it. That's the point of Meatless Monday. I hate that. That's. You got some friends in that area. Um. Anyway. So that's when I will say the uh, mental status of my husband was already tanking. It went supremely tanking at that moment. And that's when I thought, I don't think we're going to be playing this game very much longer. All right, honey. He's taking his meds now. He just leaves. He just leaves from time to time. No explanation. Come sit down, for God's sake. Oh, stop being so dramatic. (laughs) And then um, uh, we went to Orlando, came back. I have my seizure meds unless you want me to show it on TV. Oh, we don't want to have a seizure on TV. And then I can re-injure myself. Mm-hmm, Wine, good. water, and... Camera. It doesn't have that good of a ring. It doesn't have a good ring to it. Sorry. So anyway, fast forward. Get over that hump. We're trying to figure out mental state. We're trying to help him get a little lifted because he's feeling very down, very uh, hopeless. Not a lot of left. Not a lot of fight left. Would you say that's fair? That's fair. Fair. Which led to our come to Jesus moment, which we'll get to in a little bit. But medical update, in case you're wondering. We went to the doctor today. So we were in Maryland. So we went to, we've been traveling a lot too. Went to Orlando for a week, then came back, and three days later went to Maryland to see Mumana Boy. All right, ADD, did you want to go through and do the long story after so they can watch it, or do you want to do that now? I was going to talk about how we got to the medicine today, okay. which is part of the story. Well, it's part of the long story. Where You said you wanted to do a short part. and okay. then give the short part. So short part was today we went back in, did the MRI, and like the last one, we saw a little bit of growth, which we expected, but it was slow growth. Nothing like it was, you know, a year, two years ago. No, actually, or- it is. And so to, to the point of the care, the care protocol, people, people say, why are you still doing that? It's clearly not working. But in my opinion, your cancer is so aggressive that the fact that it's growing as slowly as it is, with doing our like maintenance without another weapon in the chamber, another bullet in the chamber, yeah, I think you would not be here now. Honestly, what do you think? Probably. I think it's it it is. Or it would be it, a lot worse. Yeah, it's grown incredibly slow. Given. Yeah, that's a bullet we don't want to take off the. No. That's no, an arrow given, we don't want to take given, out of the cha- out of the quiver. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. 
So today we go back in and he says, yeah, it's still growing, but it's really, really slow. And, you know, um, Pam, in the meantime, along with my godmother, stepmother, have done some research on some new medication that um, Pam had wanted to get me on and organized that with a doctor ahead of time and then it's, came it's in not, with a bunch of questions. It's not FDA approved. It's a clinical trial. It's a clinical trial. It's in just starting phase two, but it's been fast tracked by the FDA to get approval, which in our CF experience is a really good sign. That means this shit is good. And so we, um, I, I've been doing a super deep dive into it to try to learn more about it. And, uh, and it was in Houston and the way that you have to do this clinical trial, he doesn't qualify to be in it. Like we said earlier, if you've done other things, they don't want you cause they want a clean slate. They want to know that what they're studying is, is working despite other things that might be brewing in there. So he doesn't qualify for the clinical trial, but, um, but they have compassionate use as an option. So, but it was in, it's in Houston. It's based out of Houston and you have to, it's a 21 day cycle. You do three days of two hour infusions every 18 no. days. So you do three days, take 18 days off, three days, 18 days off. It's not like shit, but how are we going to do that? Going back and forth to Houston. That's not conducive to a quality of life. And so make some more noise. Okay. I will. Um, and then, um, and so then I started deeper diving and found that it's in three places, Houston, Colorado, Atlanta. So they actually are doing it in Atlanta at Piedmont. So I was like, well, shit, let's get with a doctor. We know with a doctor. We know. So I was like, let's get the compassionate use thing. So I'm going back and forth to his doctor and saying, this is what we need to get. How do let's go, let's get it. And so then he says, well, wait a second. There's this other medication that's in the same family. It's not been studied for Leo, but it's really, really uh, effective with other cancers, like um, in the in the gynecological world, ovarian and such. So, of course, that doesn't address the blood-brain barrier situation. So, uh, so he says, this one's already FDA approved. It's the same family. I can get that going like now. We don't need to wait for compassionate use and try to get it approval, blah, blah, blah. So, go. So we went in today uh, with, he got us pre-approved through insurance to start on that and do the Avastin at the same time. Because Avastin, so it, his body responds. In the meantime, really well. Pam had researched this other one, Berubisol. Berubisin, that's Berubisin. the clinical trial. Right. No, what? Berubisin's the clinical trial. Oh, well, this one was... I thought, no, this one's the FDA approved. Yeah. Dr. Rubison. All right. So the Rubison, what she found was that was so effective. It seemed to be crossing the blood brain barrier. So she went into him. She went in with a thought today. We went in saying, look, let's present to him. We would rather, you know, go for this other one. Like uh, lobby for the compassionate use, get approval from the pharmaceutical company, get approval from the FDA. Um, you know, when I read a line, it didn't seem like that was impossible. Um, but he said it takes quite a long time. And he, what he said was, um, Doxy has, Doxil has been used. Um, and I found an, I found a, I found a study that was, he said it hasn't been studied on people with GBM, but I found a study where it was studied actually with two people with GBM, <laughs> very little tiny study. Um, and it had really, really great results, but it didn't study crossing the blood brain barrier. What this study was is the, the, the two patients they had did a resection. They took the tumor out. So they studied it in the peach tree, the peach tree, the petri dish. <laughs> and then they also, <laughs> my scientist son is like, you're an idiot. <laughs> and then, um, then they did an infusion straight into the brain. So there was no crossing of the blood brain barrier. In, in the Petri dish, it showed the, the medication eating the cancer cell, the GBM cell, within hours and then within a couple weeks, like gone destroyed. So we're like, holy shit. Okay, this would be amazing, but we don't know if it crosses, right? So we were talking to him about that today. I said, well, what, what, 
if we don't know if it crosses and he said what did he say I don't know. He said, That's why you were there. He said, you know, it's never been studied on GBM, so we don't know if it crosses. And he said, this tiny little pharmaceutical company, they didn't have the funding to study it for GBM. So we don't know if it does or not. But Rubicin does. Doxorubicin, we don't know if it does. But he said, people put a lot of credit to the blood-brain barrier that maybe isn't so important. And also, basically in a nutshell, he didn't say it this way, but in a nutshell, what he said is, his blood brain barrier is probably shit anyway, because it's been going to war for almost three years. So the chances that it's a solid shield, probably not probably high. Not so good, yeah. Probably not high. So he's well, like, I got that going for me anyway. <laughs> I know. If you want to look at the silver lining, um, you don't have a blood brain barrier anymore. Uh, so we were like, okay, let's go then. And so he started on this, the, the Visudine, which I wish we had a picture. I never went with him, but it was like this neon green Hulk. Oh, you did send me a picture at one point. I think I did. Um, I must have one. I said that was like the Hulk juice. Do we look? I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. And um, and then today it was really red, and I was like, that's like the Iron Man juice. So I like the Iron Man. I just, I just need Thor between Thor and Iron Man. Well, I, Black Panther is my favorite, so the next one needs to be black. Oh. That might be scary going in. That might be real scary. And then they said today, you know, if you end up, when you pee and it's bright red, don't be alarmed. <laughs> like, I'm glad. I can't tell anyway. Glad, you can't. That's true. I don't look at your pee, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> I do flush. <laughs> Usually. Always. Um, you know the night ones, maybe not as much. You don't know the night. But. Conserving water, you know. It is a good thing to conserve save water. Plant, thing. Save plant. Um, so we're going through the Marvel characters one by one. Yep. Uh, hopefully we don't need to get past Iron Man. He's a badass. I know, but nobody's mad about Thor. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I'll post what? Your blood. Your I know. I cut myself. I cut myself cooking. She's still bleeding. bleeding. Um, uh, anyway, here is the... That's the last two times. No, well, the last three, the last three scans. I'll just show you, and I'll post them, too. But May, June, July. May, June, July. May. If you can see, this is the angry area. June, a little bit bigger. July, it's pressing a little bit more. So it's pressing a little bit back here, which, um... Here's another view, May, June, July. It's um, causing some issues with mo mobility. His fine motor skills are challenged. Left hand is very challenged. So if I'm at, at work someday and you guys see me and my shirt's not buttoned, <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't intentional, but it's really hard to button shirts for sure. And tying shoes is challenging too. Anything that requires the left hand to operate with the right hand, is not easy. So every now and then my hand will like, I feel like I'm in Talladega Nights. <laughs> He's like, just I don't know what to do, know what to do with my hands. hands. They just kind of rise up. No Left hand just operates on its own. Um, <laughs> we went to LA last weekend for his uncle's celebration of life, and uh, which was amazing. And we're so glad we got to make it there. But um, he was so pissed off in the airport because he was like, motherfucker, I have a jeans on. <laughs> and underwear without a penis pocket. <laughs> uh, you called it a pecker pocket, I think. Yeah. But um, so every time he went to the bathroom, we were like, Jesus Christ, how long is he going to stay in there? Is he going to get so unbuttoned? He couldn't my, get rebuttoned. My pants unbuttoned and then buttoned up again was taking like 20 minutes. Fucking kill me. Yeah. So um, that's the update. That's the medical update. We have growth, we have progression. It's slow, we have thankfully. A plan, we have great. a new weapon that we're using, and we still have this Barubicin, which is FDA approved. And I think, you know, what's going to no, happen? No, that's, oh, no that's I'm sorry. Too. It's FDA fast tracked, not approved. It's um, what we're going to do with this um, Doxel is today he got an infusion. In three weeks, he'll go get another infusion of Avastin and Doxel. And then um, three weeks later, 
get um, so six weeks out, get another MRI, see if anything's happening with his doxel, and then um, decide what comes next. Oh. Um, I mean, the Barubicin is probably, I mean, the stuff from the CF Foundation that was fast tracked was fast, but I don't know if it'll be that fast. Well, I don't, maybe an FDA approval, but compassionate use probably get that. Yeah. So if we don't see, if we don't see something or we see a lot more progression in six weeks, we'll really, we'll really hit that compassionate use hard for Barubicin, you know, whatever, and pay out of pocket or whatever. It's gonna, it's really exciting, you guys. Look it up, it's CNS Pharmaceutical Company. Um, my my mother-in-law, who's his stepmother slash godmother, that's another story. Um, another story for another day. <laughs> is, that's um, definitely the long version. <laughs> she, she, uh, she was so excited about it that she bought stock in it, and she and it it's impressive, y'all, but it's a tiny little company, so hopefully, hopefully the same thing doesn't happen that happened with Doxa where they run out of funds and they can't, go forward but i think you may they want to talk to the cf foundation no they need to learn how to do some philanthropic venture philanthropy. venture philanthropy that's what they need to figure out how to do go talk to the cf foundation anyway um it's almost 10. so the second half of this or the second part was 16 minutes when so we're no, good we're i think we're, I think we're good so um we had a big come to jesus because we've barely been speaking to each other and it's been a shit show and it's so stressful and you guys i'm serious i'm so compelled and i said this last time i'm so compelled to do a youtube channel because shit is real you guys it's like all the stuff that nobody talks about you can talk about trials you can talk about meds you can talk about whatever shit you want to talk about um just was texting me about calling you out in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. I don't think how well adjusted you are. And I don't know that we were ever really well adjusted, <laughs> but it doesn't matter how well adjusted you are. It takes a toll. And this is what, I, this is what I, I don't know. I feel compelled to talk about because, um, that's the real part of it. Like everybody talks about the trials and the drugs and the access and healthcare, but they don't, nobody talks about the day to day and how it is affecting the family and how it's affecting the kids and how it's affecting everything. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, you people from Riverside know that I'm not working at Riverside anymore. And then I was, I was um, presented with an opportunity someplace else that was uh, very exciting, very good. Um, really excited me, but I realized after being home for a couple of weeks, how, um, it, it actually had a calming effect on him, which trickled down to the kids. And, uh, I think it's to me, I, I knew then that I had to just be home because, um, they need their mom here. Who needed me here? The kids, not me. You didn't need me here? <laughs> oh, that was the wrong thing to say. Sorry. Yes, I needed you here. More you than did. the kids. I did, for sure. Because it kept you from being no. a complete asshole to them. Yeah, well, I, I told you a long time ago that I, that I wanted you to stop working. You did. A long time ago. You're right. She stayed there probably three months too long. I'll talk to all you people over at Riverside about that. She stayed three months too long, but that was okay. Once she got away, she kind of realized that she felt a little bit better having some control over her schedule and a little bit more, not free time, not me time, time for the kids and for me. Or not, not me, her, but me, me. And she likes that better than she likes supporting me more than she likes going to Riverside and doing her job. That's actually not true at all. It's really not. No, she loved her job, loved it, and would have done almost anything to continue doing what she was doing. It just wasn't a good fit any longer. So, you know, it ended the way it needed to, but it's too bad because she was really good at what she did. 
good mom too, though. Pretty good. I'm a fucking ah. amazing wife. <laughs> I'm an amazing wife. Say yeah. it right now on camera. Say it. Say it right now in front of everybody. You're an amazing support. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> um. Anyway. You're an amazing mom. Thanks, honey. The shit that you do with Beanie is like magic. Duncan too, really. Well, and then Jake also. Gavin, not so much. <laughs> Gavin's too much like you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yes. Why? She doesn't like me at all. I mean, I do. No, I love you, but sometimes you're. I don't like you. Yeah. Feelings mutual, right? Sure. So um, we had a big come to Jesus because we literally were like not even speaking to each other from quite a long time weeks maybe a month and it was so weird because i'm like what the fuck why aren't we talking to each other and what what the hell what if he dies like in a month and we wasted all this time not speaking but i was so pissed off and you were so pissed off and so finally we just sat there and at one o'clock in the morning at the lake house and said what the fuck? Like, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? And what's happening? It would not have been good if we'd come on here before. No. It would not have been good. So, I said, do you remember what I said to you? I don't. I mean, yes, of course I do. But you could remind me. <laughs> <laughs> I said... You just didn't seem like you wanted to be alive anymore. And that I was just irritating the shit out of you with trying to keep you alive. So I said, are you pissed off at me for bringing you back to life last year? Are you mad at me for that? Yeah, you didn't say that. I did. Yeah. And I said, no. You said, I'm not mad at you about that. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I'm not mad at you about that. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Tell them whatever you like to. Remember what you were mad at me about? I don't. It couldn't have been that important. Well, I, I probably, it, well, it could have been important. It's just important or not important. I forget that shit either way. <laughs> so don't feel too bad when I forget, you know, bringing something in from the yard or picking something up at the grocery or, or so where I put my happening. shirt. That's been happening for 30 fucking years not yeah. has nothing to do with your brain cancer that's what i'm saying that's just me anyway love me or hate me you don't get to choose both i'm me right i can choose both yeah. depends on the moment yeah what you said to me was i'm not mad at you about that and i said what are you mad about and you said you don't give me any space to feel bad about my situation. That is true. That's actually a true thing that I said, and it's a very true statement. It is. I didn't for real about. I didn't think about it. It was. That's why I remember it because I was like, "Holy shit!" Okay. Noted. And you said it's fucking exhausting being positive all the time. And I'm a glass half full kind of person where I'm like, it could always be worse. It could always be worse. There are millions of people who have a worse situation than we do. And then I realized that is my own coping mechanism. It's your defense mechanism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So it feels very glass half full, but it's also a very... Don't deal with your own shit because somebody has it worse than you. Yeah, so that was, a, I don't remember what else we said that night. We I talked for hours. Kind of enough, yeah. We talked for hours, but that was the. That was the gist. That was the gist. The conclusion. So I needed to give you space to, I don't want to say wallow because that has a bad connotation. Every now and then to wallow, yeah. I'll, I'll take wallow. Yeah. Every now and then, yep. It's not a bad thing. It's okay to do that. I don't, I'm not weak because I do that. If I do that every now and then. I'm not saying you're weak. Um, just that's what I'm saying right now. You just can't stay in the wall. Well, I don't, and I know that too. That's the last thing. I know. Thing that's I'm just doing. what I get afraid about. 
but you'll just stay there and I can't get you out of there. So, we're working toward, <laughs> we're working toward that. And then I said, if you're done, you're done. You need to tell me so I can wrap my mind around it and figure it out. Right? Yeah. And what I say? I'm not done. I'm not done. Yeah. I just need, I needed something like this, Barubasol or whatever the fuck you're talking about, <laughs> to say, okay, I've got something that, that gives me another, like, weapon that we're using that's going after the cancer, not just a side effect. Not, not just, like, placating it. Yeah, yeah. Not, not holding it off, but actually going to war with it, which this stuff I, kind of gives me that. If it gets in. If it gets in, it's doing it. Yeah, and the other one. Barubasin does. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, so that's two. So now I kind of have a game plan of, okay, we do this until then. And then if that doesn't work, then we can do this. So that having an on-deck batter gives me a lot of comfort. Yeah, and um, and the doctor added another layer of seizure meds, which also has a little happy pill um, mixed in. I don't think that's doing anything. I think it is. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, yeah, you told him that. I did. I don't feel it. You're a little less douchey. <laughs> That's so nice. I mean, you're, you're a little less douchey. Could you <laughs> define that for us, please? I don't think for I need our to. audience, we have 82. I don't think high I, level. I don't think I need to explain that. I think it's very clear when you're just being a dick. You just don't. You're just. Now, is it a dick or? You is want it me douchey? to say less douchey or less dicky? <laughs> Not less dicky. Mom would be offended. She would be offended. Um. Yeah. I mean, it is. It is what it is. Anyway, that's the train wreck part of the story. And that's where we are in this ten away. Yeah. And um, time to eat. Dinner. Yay! <laughs> dinner it's <Christmas> Monday. <laughs> anyway. You just remember what they said at the uh, at the center today. Don't you know that we asked them about keto and they're like, we just don't like it because it's hard to be careful of what you're watching. Eating, you can't gain weight. Not gaining weight. I'm like, I'll show you gain weight. There's five pounds of cheese in that shit. I got all sorts of that under control. Yeah. I could lose a few pounds. It wouldn't hurt me. Yeah. That's one of the other issues with my left hand is I gotten so freaking fat I can't get my damn pants around my waist. I was trying to buckle his pants for this weekend, and I was like, honey, suck it. <laughs> not that I'm one to talk, but no, I got a, I got some. I got a date with a uh, uh, seamstress or. <laughs> Not a scene. <laughs> let, all, let all your pants out. Yeah. I might need just a little let out. Anyway. All right. Well, go eat some meatless Monday. Okay. I'm not eating now. I'm just going to have another glass of wine. Well, Can't it is wine time. Talk, for God's sake. All right. You guys, I'm sorry that it's taken so long and that we're a fucking scattered disaster. But, you know. You're not a scattered disaster. I'm not a, sca <laughs> I'm not a scattered disaster at all. No. There's nothing wrong with my look. No, your look is gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, I would say I promise to be better, but you know, she won't. Who the fuck knows? Just depends on the day. Hopefully, we made you laugh. Maybe when school starts right. again, we'll have a schedule. And if COVID can stay at bay, all the variants, the kids will be in school. We'll have a schedule, and we won't variants. be eating dinner at. Dinner. If you're watching Loki, that has a different. Oh, meaning. it does have a different meaning. Yeah. The time variant. We're not gonna go into the Loki juice. We're gonna go. We're gonna, we're gonna go have dinner. Iron Man, then maybe Thor and Black Panther. What color is Thor's juice? That's what we want to know. Doesn't so we matter. have green, we have red. Uh, what's Thor? Shoot, you were saying Fucking what? Fucking hot. <laughs> Thor. Easy, easy. I can feel your steam coming off here right now. <laughs> anyway. We love you guys. Thank you. I'm sorry that we're shitty and not good at keeping you up to date, but that's the game plan. And, um, you we're know, to we're going to try to be better. And then they don't have to be so freaking long. They can be like 15 minute segments in and out. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe. Maybe? This was 45. It's really fucking I think it was 15 was the first I'm part. Sorry. This was 30. He also has a situation with his head right now. I Turn do. your head. See? I don't know if you can see that, but his skull is actually showing. Do you guys remember when he had to get the piece removed from his head when the metal was coming through? 
Well, they've had to do three different things now here, and now it's just literal skull showing through his head. Skull. That's Apparently awesome. That's fine. Another thing to look forward to. Apparently that's fine. Yeah, um, like, the good yeah. news about this new drug is um, one of the side effects is that um, some people lose their hair. Oh, well, I was like, damn, I don't have to shave for, you know, a few weeks. I That's... wonder if it would make you lose your chest hair. I hope so. I do, too. You do. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they said maybe my beard goes away, but that's that's all right. I can grow back. Anyway, if I want we to. need to eat and go to bed and maybe watch a show. Yeah. Okay. Love you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being part of the journey. We love you. And, um, and we suck. And we appreciate your patience. Peace out. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.